Hey guys, it's Raquel with Stage Right Secrets, and I am here with Lewis Bryce. What's going on? How are you? I am doing fantastic right now. Just uh, finally finishing up the last day of CMA Fest 2000. So. We see the light to the end of the tunnel. It is almost there. It's right there. And you have a performance today at 2.30. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, around 2.45, 2.30, uh, Tin Roof, downtown. Um, it's for, I forgot what it's for. I, I keep forgetting what it's for. Uh, somebody asked me to play it to close out the last week. I was like, yeah, sure. So... We're going to hang out with you guys today, yeah. do a little signing around 1, and go play around 2.45. Someone has to, you know, be the last person to to play and yeah. be exciting and fun oh, yeah. for everyone. I, I, I like trying to keep it up, up-tempo. Mm -hmm. Before the Preds game tonight, wh what are you doing for that? Are you going to go watch it? Go? Are you going to conquer downtown, do you think? No, actually, because my brother's birthday was yesterday, so I'm going to go hang out at his house, and uh, once I get done, I was thinking about doing a little Sunday fun day in it, but I'm going to think I'm going to go out and hang out with my brother for a little bit and watch the game probably out there. All right. Go Preds. Go Preds. Go Preds. Go. All right, so you're debut EP is on is about to come out oh, yeah. how did you kind of come up with the track listing pick the songs for it because obviously you've written I'm sure a lot of songs in your life yeah. how do you kind of pick a lot of people say it's like picking your favorite child which you should not do <laughs> yeah, um, well like a lot of these I've written like uh, uh, countless songs but the ones that I, that I tend to gravitate towards are some that some that have personal experience to myself and so these five, these six songs, you know, I've been playing them, and they're they're you know real personal to me as, as well. But I've been working on them for a long, long time, and I figure rather than a lot of newer songs put out there, I've been playing these songs live for a long time as well. So I figure it's only fair to give my fans, you know, some some songs they've been hearing that they haven't been able to download for so long. So okay, that's true. Yeah. I like it. All right, and you posted an acoustic teaser video on your Instagram, and I totally watched it like a million times. To <laughs> you know, see what's going on. I really like that it was the acoustic that you chose to pick. Why did you kind of do that? Um, Idea-wise, like, I, I've always kind of prided myself on my, my live performances and whatnot, and so I have the EP coming out. I did a version, an acoustic version of all six songs, and I wanted to kind of have, like, a preamp, you know, like a ramp up to July 14th when it's coming out, and, uh, and we kind of thought about what would be the best way to do it. I was like, man, just put me in a room with a microphone and a guitar so that way I can't hide nothing. So I just want to be able to people show people that I can yeah I can do a guitar full band whatever you know but I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the acoustic stuff because I played a lot of years acoustic shows by myself just to get to the point of where I'm going now so feel feel comfortable with it and I, I figured it would show another side of me and just kind of let people in a little little, little further awesome I've read uh a plus, A plus, <laughs> love that. All right, so you have an event called Lewis Palooza. Tell our viewers a little bit about that in case they don't know, in case they've never been to Nashville and got to experience it, well, like I have. <laughs> Lewis Palooza, um, I started about seven years ago. This year was the seventh one. Um, it's always been f the main reason behind Lewis Palooza is to give my friends opportunities to play music, but also doing it for a good cause. Mm -hmm. And I've had a couple different charities involved, uh, Musicians on Call, St. Jude's, um, Started a Tovar fund. It was a, it was a little fun. I started. My, I had a guitar player a couple of years ago pass away from brain cancer, and so that was a little tough time. But it was it, it inspired me to kind of keep this keep this going and going. And so this year I brought in a, another foundation called Hope Song. Hope Song Foundation is my buddy has a hospital down in uh, Tijuana, Mexico, and so they they're they're alternate treatment for cancer patients rather than the chemo and stuff. They do like natural treatments and whatnot, and they're having. Some, some really good successful uh, stories. And so what Hope Song does is they provide transportation, they fly artists down from Nashville to go play for the patients for like a week at a time. And then on top of that, like they, they do different studies and stuff. And so some of the patients there, like the, they're, the studies are actually starting to work, but they don't have the funds to keep the study going. So what Hope Song does, they raise money to give them scholarships. Like this one lady, Laura, she was, I saw her in January and she was, like when I saw her, she had a tumor had gotten so big it, it busted out of her skull, and so she had a big knot on her head. She couldn't see out of this eye, and so she was wearing a patch. She, her she was hard moving around. I mean, it was stage four terminal, and that. And I, but literally, just like four or five months later, she's at Lewis Palooza. She happened to be on the way back from Mexico, and she just happened to be in Nashville. Her and her husband, and whenever that was going on, so she came with. She was there walking. She looks gorgeous. Uh, the the mass has gone down about seventy percent that I know of. And she could see but out of both eyes really well, walking, talking. And uh, she's, a, she's one of the stories, just one of them. And so Hope Song, you know, they, they provide, you know, like I said, they, it's a really good foundation. I'm glad I brought them, brought them aboard now. So That's incredible. I just got the chills yeah. talking about it. There's so many awesome events and 
and for a great cause that go on during CMA Fest weekend. It's so amazing to get to talk to y'all and just get to hear about it. It's great. A lot, 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 of, lot of people in Nashville, they, a, lot, a lot of caring things, you know, always, always trying to find some way to help, you know, help music get into the world of helping the human spirit. Yes, definitely. All right, now I have to ask it, since it is or was CMA Fest, whichever we want to say since we're ending it, if you could have a fan party with endless amount of money, no budget basically, doesn't matter, what would you do? Oh, a fan party, hmm. I'd probably close down Broadway and, and have like stages all the way up and down the side and just got, just have a whole bunch of bands like playing over and over and over again. That would, I like that. That would be cool. Some people said they'd go to Mars and I was like, all right, well, I mean, that would be interesting. I'd probably like close down Broadway, man, the whole thing. Like just have a big yeah. sea of people just hanging out, just have, have a good music. The good old block party. Yeah. Well, we cannot wait to hear your new EP come out. I can't wait either. July 14th. It's becoming strong. Gonna be, it's so exciting. We're so excited to hear it. All right, where can everyone check you out, find you on social media? LewisBryce.com will take you to all of my pages on the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, and at Lewis Bryce with all that stuff too. And uh, Snapchat, Lewis Bryce. Can't um, forget Snapchat. That's a good one. And I'm getting better at my snaps. I'm getting better. I'm starting to say, you know, because I, I, I know people want to see what we're doing, mm -hmm. especially during this week. So, Perfect. but yeah. Have you tried Instagram story yet? I'm getting closer. I haven't tried that, but I think that's a new thing. I think that's where everybody's kind of going for the Instagram stories. I, I myself have to improve with that, so we can we can do that. Next time I interview you, hopefully we'll be better with the Instagram story. Instagram snap while we're doing it. Perfect. I like it. All right. To stay updated with all things music, be sure to check out Stage Right Secrets and all of our corresponding social media. And to check out this guy. He already plugged himself in. Go ahead. Check him out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.